Adrian Peterson has signed with the pa uh, Patriots, <laughs> signed with the Saints. And listen, I love Adrian. I think he's probably one of the eight, let's say eight to ten greatest backs of all time. Certainly one of the greatest physical specimens we've ever seen. Sorry though, this steal makes zero sense whatsoever. It doesn't make any sense unless they're planning on moving Mark Ingram. Peterson and Ingram are similar backs, and the Saints don't even value running backs as they throw it, you know, 50 times a game. My fear is that Adrian Peterson is done, and he knows it, and he just went to the highest bidder instead of the best fit. And, not to mention, Peterson claimed he wanted to go to a contender. The Saints were 7-9. and nine. Seven and nine last year, and they trade away their best wide receiver. I don't think anyone outside of New Orleans or Saints fans think that this team is contending in 2017. Doesn't make any sense. He's in, again, less of a position to compete for a title and is more likely to get blown up in the backfield on every play because of a subpar offensive line. He would have been better off, honestly, just staying in Minnesota. A backup running back for three and a half million? No, it's definitely not cheap. Saints do not have a good offensive line, as a lot of people are saying uh, <laughs> on message boards there. Lying to yourself. Pass blocking is taking a step back and trying to keep the pocket clean for three seconds. Run blocking is pushing the guy in front of you backwards. The point uh, I'm trying to make here is he's not a good fit with the Saints at all. It seemed like it was, uh, you know, if this was his only option to sign with, then sure, it makes sense. But if he had options like the Raiders or the Pats or even Green Bay, I find it hard to believe the Saints were the best fit. I hope all is well, and I look forward to speaking to you soon.